What a picturesque view of the Boston skyline. Truly a stunning view. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Anthony Randall? Yeah, Kevin, one thing for him, he's got great hands defensively. He applies a lot of pressure to whoever he's guarding. And he'll gamble on the strip when you go up for a shot. I mean, he'll get some whistles, fouls called. They're still working out the kinks defensively because that was a blatant mistake. Rondo with the ball, averaging 10 points per contest. Outside Brantley. Johnson against Pierce. Goes up at the stripe, and the shot is... Here's Johnson. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Johnson left side. From out on the way, he knocks it down. He's off to a good start, and he's locked and loaded early. Three for three. Last game for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against the 76ers. Well, Kevin, they constructed a perfect offensive game plan going into that game, and it was quickly apparent how powerless the defense was to stop it. Powerless is a good way to put it, Steve. We're unlikely to see that many uncontested baskets again anytime soon. And he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. Johnson against Pierce. Johnson draws the double to the inside. Here's Baruch, and he banks in. They really have, Clark, and I give a lot of credit to the coaching staff because they, they've established a foundation here, an identity for this club, and I, I think finally they have something to hang their hats on. This is a, a solid basketball team. Now here's Rondo after the miss from Joe Johnson. Johnson attacking, and that one is... Points. His message was collapse in the middle, even if it means leaving gaps on the perimeter. Kevin, we'll see how that strategy pans out as this game develops. Thanks again, Doris. And this is a guy who's made the power slam his trademark, Kevin. So we'll just have to see who he throws it down on tonight. And you know, he is an extremely skilled player attacking off the dribble, too. I mean, he's got a great pull-up jumper as well, Steve. And Johnson drops them both. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. Williams kicks to Jennings. He dishes it to Toledovich. The pass to O'Neal. And here's Jennings outside. The rebound by Jeff Green. Celtics trail by three. Johnson attacking. Power down with both hands. Must that thing down, young fella. That is a fierce two-hand goal. Maximum force on that dunk. at 100% from the field this quarter. The Celtics shooting an impressive 60% early. Now here's Johnson. He's guarded by Toledovich. Johnson kicks to Golderon. Back to Johnson. The shot's good on the assist by Golderon. 14 points for Johnson. Boy, has there been any defense played yet in this game? Nope, this game has been all about rapid-fire offense early. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. Nets lead by one. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. The regular season is in sight. The Phoenix Suns go up against the Boston Celtics. This weekend, NBA action. Now we got a close game here. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Jaron Williams and Joe Johnson at the one and two. Then there's Mirza Toledovich. Then it's Plumley, and it's Slater in at the four slot. Johnson dishes to Calderon. Lock at six. Johnson sets the screen for Calderon. That's good. Effort isn't enough. The Nets making a switch here. Williams is checked in. 
Johnson outside. Stolen by Brand. Now Johnson, averaging 18 points a game. Garnett kicks to Tiletovic. Pass to Johnson. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Six on the shot clock. Garnett the pass to Johnson. Johnson with the block. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Thanks, Kev. Bucks in their last matchup against the Bucks just played phenomenal. He had 58 points, and he got there with his usual way. Just an impressive barrage of threes. Just absolutely incredible numbers from him in a game you didn't want to miss. So glad we were here to watch it, Kevin. Great, Doris. Thanks. Any chance we see him uh, top that performance at Clark here tonight? I, we can use that word, can't it we? Is, it is now. Oh, look at Steve. He didn't like that, though. Uh, look at him. Well, let's just say he was really good. <laughs> and this is a sound time to finish it off. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he Sims has got the lead up to two now for Brooklyn. You know, something we're seeing less and less of these days, that little finger roll. Johnson gets the bucket. That's been a great day for him. And if you remember, he gave them a huge performance their last time out as well. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half. Got a piece of it. And now it's Hill running. He can go all the way. That is up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when the steal triggers the break. Yeah, it really does allow your offense to flow better. When you can get out and run and get easy opportunities, then everybody gains confidence. Williams dishes to Johnson. Launches a three. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And a tight game here as we end the first half. It's the Celtics leading by just two. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Kevin, we have Brooke Lopez with us. What's the attitude you have as a team right now? Oh, it's so exciting. You know, it's really thrilling to come out with such a great team of guys every night, you know, and uh, play basketball. You know, it's just it's a lot of fun. Brooke, thank you very much. Kevin, over to you. Thanks, Doris. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter started. Now, presented by Sprint. Thanks for being with us here on 2K Sports. Every day, the playoff picture is becoming more clear. The Celtics are making every effort to win. This game's lived up to its billing. Two fantastic teams duking it out. Buckets having a huge impact. Shooting nearly 70% so far. A gaudy shooting percentage. The envy of everybody playing tonight. Pierce has got his second basket of the game. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on him. And the officials call goaltending, so they award the basket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. The Celtics have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. And you take a look at the statistics. This club is shooting 74% as a team. And, you know, you don't have... Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Rondo passes to Johnson. Rebound, Brooklyn. This is not the slam dunk contest. You don't get do-over. You got to finish the job. Williams dishes to Pierce. Off target from outside. Well, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Johnson attacking. Good. Johnson. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. Well, that's one way to get your second half started on the right foot. An easy layup against some soft defense. To you, Kevin. All right, Doris. Celtics leading by three. Johnson draws it up to the left side wing. Tries from 16 and eight. Williams has got 13. 
Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it, and I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. The Celtics have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. Plumlee has checked in for Elton Brand. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Here's Williams. He's got 13. Kicks to Plumlee. It's stolen by Bradley. Here's Johnson. Throws down the breakaway jam. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk part coming within seconds of the steal. I love the way they convert from defense to offense. Well, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. And it's Johnson penetrating. Looking to end his cold spell. Tries again. No good. Bradley with some nice D. It seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Jermaine O'Neal checked in for Brooklyn. Nets trail by nine. Johnson outside. Back to Williams. It's tipped. Outside, Bradley. Crashes in for a double-digit lead. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And something else they've excelled at is their interior defense. A lot of block shots for them tonight. Fellas, he just is struggling to get anything going. Right now, his shooting percentage in the quarter, 20%. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. Let's tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Johnson's got seven points for the quarter. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. Jump to center stage now. He's their go-to guy. When he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Williams has got 15. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve. Particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attack points with the basket from Williams. He's been a bright spot for them. He's had an incredibly efficient offensive performance. Steve, his shooting really has been just terrific. They'd be much worse off if it weren't for him, that's for sure. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Celtics lead by six. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Next Tuesday, March 17th, the Boston Celtics go up against the Dallas Mavericks. Be there. Garnett. Or getting the ball inside like that, close to the rim. That is the key during crunch time. Johnson attacking. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. Joe Johnson picks one up. Yeah, he's been brilliant here today, guys. And same story last time out. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for the Celtics. That's good from Johnson. Look at the because they're down, and anytime you're losing, you got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Elton Brand. Johnson with a screen on Pierce. Randolph kicks to Johnson. That is good. Johnson's got the finish. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Johnson against Pierce. Inside Durant. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Johnson's got three assists tonight. Nothing too fancy. Just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need into a highlight play. He assaulted the glass to the right, then assaulted the rim. Yeah, now that's getting the job done on the boards. 
Back to Rondo. And here is Johnson. Back to Rondo. Just five on the clock. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Randolph can't hit. I'll tell you, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Williams kicks to Johnson. Another miss by Johnson. I think it's going to be tough for them to trim this deficit if he keeps missing those kinds of shots, Kevin. 51 seconds left in the game. Johnson against Garnett. Lopez with the steal. Now here's Williams. He feeds it to Lopez. Guys, it's come down here to a very important possession. Yeah, zero tolerance for mistakes here. Johnson against Williams. Johnson kicks to Ronda. Kicks it out to Bradley. Feeds it to Johnson. And on the clock. Sinks it. That's an example right there, guys, of how even as their lead grew into a big one, they never started coasting. That's the truth. I mean, they've been in charge of this game all the way through. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson for three. Offensive rebound. Outside Pierce. So we see Boston get the win here. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Hi, Kevin, here with Rajan Rondo. And Rajan, when you look back on tonight's win, what ultimately decided this game? Stops. You know, I think we executed offensively, uh, came up with some lucky plays, and we got stops at the end. Rajan, thank you. Kevin, a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. All right, Doris, thank you. And for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Now, our Jordan player of the game, Buckets.